Warren Buffett has a great, great quote on this. He says, I want my leaders to have three things, integrity, intelligence, and energy. We came up with the idea to open up community centers that are Disney themes that would provide Wi-Fi, um, computer labs, entertainment. Billion dollar idea right here. So, our initiative was responsible consumption and production and we have Nike. So what we're gonna do is have a biodegradable sneaker called the Nike Roots. Values really underlie ethical decision-making. Another thing I want to talk about, though, is culture. Because when you talk about business ethics, you can't do that without talking about culture. The minute you ask yourself the question, why am I uncomfortable about this? What is it about this that's just not quite right? I want you to stop in your tracks. There is no better sign than understanding that. A reputation for integrity and ethics is a valuable but very fragile business asset. It is really, really hard to build. It is really, really easy to destroy. Here's the real kicker. In business, not every decision is a moral dilemma, right? We don't go into our corporate worlds and sit down in a conference room and say, are we gonna sell this product that's gonna injure a bunch of people or are we not gonna sell this product? We're gonna injure people, let's do that. That's not the way that decisions get made. The way that decisions get made are... Thinking, how do you think about the problem? There are questions about outcomes. What kinds of outcomes are you trying to bring about? There are questions about ideals. What ideals are you trying to achieve? Interest rates. Your your lenders will charge you more if they believe you're not gonna pay up. They have to charge for risk. They're going to charge you more. So there is business value to being ethical. See if they align with your ethics and be able to go from there. Thanks so much for your time. Hope you enjoy the rest of the camp.